How would you like to be standing in front of your room and have students at their desk using devices be able to send responses directly up to your screen just like that until you have about a dozen of them? Then you can click on them, move them around, analyze them. You can do the same thing with pictures and click on them to make them bigger, minimize them and move them around to organize them for your class. Watch to see how. Hey, this is Mr. Techhead, and today I want to show you some of the very new features that are on Smart Notebook 17. Um, I was able to see some of this at a conference, and I thought it was amazing. I thought of a few ideas that would make this easy, and it is the way that future of education looks like it's going, and I thought it was fun. So either way, just using it in your class sounds like a good time. So let's get started. Um, real simply, what we're looking at is up here. It's the Smart Lab. They've created, it's like the old Activity Builder if you ever used it, or downloaded activities, except it's like new and better looking and easier and more interactive for students in today's day and age. So the first thing you want to do is click on the Smart Lab icon up here. Looks like a little um, 19... 70 arcade looking guy and when it opens up it gives you a few options and there are quite a few and I'm not going to go through all of them in this video but I did want to show you um, one of my favorites that I thought as a teacher you're going to be able to use a lot with very little prep which makes it the easiest to use some of these are great with some prep like coming up with a lesson or a quiz but I really like the idea of um, being able to use one of these really quick and easy so this one I found really awesome it's called a shout it out it does require devices which means computers devices as phones iPads any device as long as you have internet will work for this okay so the first thing you do is you click on the icon to get to smart lab and you select shout it out and at this point you have a few options and I like to say a few because there really aren't too many and it makes it simple but really neat um, the first thing it asks is randomize or categorize. So if you want just a random set of different things to pop up or for them to categorize in different areas. Now I just keep randomized because once things pop on your screen you can move them and you'll see what I mean when I get to that part. So just to show you what it is, um, the first thing I want to show you is like images. So under images um, it allows a student with a device to be able to take an image and automatically it will just shoot it right up on the smart board so everybody can see. Okay, You can make it so it shows the student's name or hides it. Um, I'm just going to leave it for show, but that's just personal preference. Okay, So real simply, I chose image. We're going to show text as well after. So I click finish. And you're going to see the smart lab pops up on your screen. Okay, And over here, it gives you a class ID. I think it'll pop up really big. There you go. And students, all they have to do is go to this link, classlab.com, enter the link number for the one it gives you for that activity. Real simple to do. So this is on the whiteboard or the smart interactive board while you're sitting there. But I want to show you the students as we go as well. So now the students on their device will go, and I've got my iPad. So here's my iPad screen being cast, so you can see and I'm going to enter that code. It's also really small over here, but the kids can see it real big over there. And I'm going to enter as a student, four, six, seven, eight, four, two, six, three. And then you'll notice you can now enter. So I click that on the device. And I put my name, that's my wife's name. We were testing it out before. So we'll just keep her on there and we'll do join. And you're gonna notice as soon as I click on it, her name shows up over here. Okay, You'll notice a few of me from before, but they're red, which means they're not working now. Okay, And it says the teacher hasn't started the activity yet, so please wait. Just take a second. You hear my baby crying in the background? She's just got out of the bath. Sorry. Um, so then, at this point, it's up to the teacher to start the activity. You want to wait till all the students have entered. If a student hasn't entered, it's okay for them to enter later. This number will still work throughout the activity. So um, I make a note to put it on the board in case a student shows up late. They don't have to wait until the activity is over. They can still join at any time. So you click Start Activity. And I want to show you on our screen, it's blank. And on the student's screen, let's pop that up again. 
It says select an image, and this is where the fun begins. You tell your students any um, activity such as um, go around the room and take a picture of a right angle. You may have them work as groups. Um, they click select, select image, and they can actually search in their um, library if they already have pictures. But I like the idea of taking a photo, and you'll notice that pops right up. And you can walk over anywhere around your um, location. Ooh, there's a good one. Geometry dash cutout, my son did. And snap a picture of that right angle that's just right up there at the top. Take a picture. And then it says retake or use photo. So are we happy with it? Sure. I love it. I click on it and send. Now, when I set this up, I gave the option to just send one photo or up to three. And you can send quite a few th up to three. Um, I submitted it. I'm going to minimize that so you can see that as I took that picture, it actually po popped right up onto the smart notebook on my screen in this little tiny thumbnail. Um, at this point, I can move it. Okay, I can say everybody who did right angles over here, everyone who did um, 180 degree angles over here, and we can separate them, move them. We can decide, you know, which ones really work, talk about it, analyze it. And if we want to see in more detail, we just click on it, and you can see it zoomed in real quick. Click on it on the X right here, and all of a sudden you're out, and it's really cool. So I thought how neat, and you can have all, you know, either work in groups, six or seven of these up there. You may have individuals do it, or you might even do it as like a homework assignment. You know, take pictures and then be ready to share those on um, the next day. So you can see how easy that is. And then when you're all finished, you click End. And on the student screen, I want you to see that it pops up and says, oh, the activity's ended, so I click OK. That's the student end. On the teacher end, you notice that um, the picture's still there. You can still talk about it. And if you want or don't like one, you can just drag it here to the garbage can. It highlights, and it's gone once you confirm that. Okay? Pretty easy. Okay, if you want to um, change the activity, you click on the pencil here, and you're going to edit activity. It warns you and says, um, if you do this, it's going to start over, which is fine. And at this point, I'm going to actually switch it so instead of taking pictures, you're going to do text. Again, you can choose how many entries each person can get. That makes sense now. And you're going to do finish. And all of a sudden, um, it gives you the same code, so students don't have to re-enter that every single time. On the student screen, once again, because they've already logged in, it just says waiting for the teacher. Click start activity. And at this point, you can just give problems or say, I want you to solve this multiplication problem, but show your work. Um, so the students on their screen, let's pull that up. They can start typing in stuff or even in literacy, they can write a question, you know, like share your thoughts about this or give me a noun and a verb. And so they can um, label those noun house, enter verb run. And they've got that. Um, after they've done that, all they have to do is do send response. You can let them do one or more. And then back on the teacher board, I want you to see again, it's popped up right there. Okay, And you can actually categorize those. You could maybe even have a group in each in your class, one doing nouns, verbs, adjectives, and each of them work on different. And then you can group them and move them around as you go. So anyway, this activity seems really nice and easy. I like the interaction with devices. If you have a mobile lab or even if you allow students to use their devices, they can enter stuff. They can take pictures. It's almost like a scavenger hunt in the class. Um, it's really easy to connect. I love how easy it is. In class, I have never had a problem getting students to connect. Um, it's very nice, and it's very interactive and fun. I've seen that this seems to be the way a lot of the whiteboard interactive stuff's going, where people can actually, from the web, send input to the teacher right from their desks and share things. And this definitely shows that. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, try it out. It's going to be awesome. In the comments, will you just write if you tried it and how it worked for you? Or maybe just some ideas of things you're thinking of. Um, and maybe some other ideas if you want me to make another smart notebook uh, video to help you out. Um, thanks, and subscribe if you liked it. And tell a friend, share it with a friend. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.